Both here and with her page boy hairdo showing, Brooks personified the fashionable garçon type of new woman, a French term for the masculinized flapper spinoff that was a particularly polarizing subject of the Weimar gender debate. The garçon was also described in Germany as a boobikopf, the equivalent term for the page boy, and she wore loose tailored dresses or other more explicitly masculine attire. This look was thought to be related to such masculine social behaviors as sexual promiscuity, drinking liquor, and smoking cigarettes, as Claire alluded to. Brooks was actually nicknamed Boobikopf by at least two of the German film journals which announced Pop's selection of her as Lulu in 1928. To see how troublesome garçons were considered at the time, one need only see the published discussion in a 1927 article in the mainstream Berlin newspaper Acht Uhr Abendblatt about three distinctive types of women the Gretchen, the girl, and the garçon. And while I read this quote, I'm putting up a still reference still to uh, her other, Brooks's other collaboration with Pabst, Diary of a Lost Girl. This is actually a boarding school scene, something also alluded to by Claire, where Brooks is put in distinctly masculine garb, um, the uniform of the boarding school, while she commiserates with one of her fellow students. Uh, in her nightgown. Quote, the garçon type cannot be grasped by language. This is from the newspaper article in 27. Her combination of 50 to 50 percent sexual and intellectual potency often gives rise to conflict. The most significant one in this group, the business and life artist. Uniting a sporting, comradely, male entrepreneurial sense with heroic feminine devotion, this synthesis, if successful, often makes her so superior to the man she loves that she becomes troublesome, end quote. So what seems to be a celebratory description of the garçon and her ability to achieve a balance between elements of sexuality and entrepreneurship of femininity and masculinity ends with a kind of warning to be on the lookout for such a disturbing quote unquote synthesis. The picture magazines of the time, which had exploded in popularity, were rife with critiques of the gender confusion spurred by new manifestations of cross-dressing and oscillation. 